Shinola Hotel in Detroit was one of my favorite hotels, but they've seen the last of my money. This is reprehensible. <laughs> Think about how nutty this woman is, man. This woman is a nut. This black guy said he changed his name on his resume from Dwight Jackson to John Jabrowski. <laughs> a black man got a job interview after he changed his name on his resume from Dwight Jackson to John Jabrowski. Now he's suing for discrimination. So because that black man said that, she not going to go to that hotel no more. <laughs> Think about how reactionary and how whimsical black people black women are man what what happened oh yeah oh, i ain't never want like do you have any proof that this happened ma'am and who cares a black man got a job interview after he changed his name on his resume now he's suing for discrimination A black man has filed an employment discrimination lawsuit against the hotel in Detroit, Michigan, alleging the hotel only offered him a job interview after he changed the name on his resume, according to a copy of the lawsuit obtained by CNN. <laughs> Dwight Jackson, which is not a black name, Dwight Jackson could be a white person or a black person, who, and even if it was, even if his name was Laquarius, Laquarius Jenkins III, it don't matter. I can get a job application one day. We not hiring. The next day, three people get fired. You read, you resubmit the job application with goddamn Ian Bronkowski. And I, okay, we hiring now. We just fired three people. Okay, so we'll take the same application and I, and I, <laughs> And, and we call you back. When before we, when you said the White Jackson, we didn't call you back because we didn't have no openings at the time, or because the person who was reviewing the the, the the applications that day didn't like your application, the HR person who was doing it that day didn't like it, and then the, the next day when the, when you resubmitted under another name, it was a different HR person there. It's so many variables in this in which racism could be probably the 1,000th reason why this guy got called back when he changed the name on the application and resubmitted it. It could be a 1,000 reasons why that happened. He could be lying. He could have he could have switched up other stuff on the application, not just the name. He could be lying about the whole entire thing. Dwight Jackson filed a lawsuit against Shinola Hotel on July 3rd, alleging he was denied a job when he applied as Dwight Jackson, but later offered an interview when he changed his name to John Jabrowski. The lawsuit alleges Jackson was denied a job in violation of Michigan Elliott Larson Civil Rights Act. Between January and April 2024, Jackson, a 27-year-old black man, applied to multiple positions at the Shinola Hotel in downtown Detroit, including a role in reception. According to the lawsuit, on its website, Shinola Hotel says it's a luxury hotel. Jackson's attorney, John Marco, provided CNN with a copy of Jackson's resume, which details consistent employment, including previous roles as a front desk agent at Detroit's Marriott West, Weston Book Cadillac and David Whitney Hotel, which used the words luxury and luxurious to describe their respective hotels. Mr. Jackson had applied for the job that he was Eminently qualified for Marco, a civil rights attorney, told CNN. However, Shinola Hotel did not offer Jackson an interview. <laughs> Yo, it, we get, now we starting to get into dangerous territory, man. This is dangerous territory where 
if a black person submit an application and they don't get a call back, they can sue, man. Jesus Christ, man. I'm qualified for this job, man. I don't care how they could have got a thousand applications for that job. And they would be probably he don't know nothing, man. This is so weird, man. This is terrible precedent. After getting no response to his initial job applications in April 2024, Jackson applied again, making one significant change to his application. One significant. Here we go. We're here. It begins. After getting no response to his initial job application in April 2024, Jackson applied again, making one significant. So that means he made other changes. But the only significant change, <laughs> the only significant change was his name. But he made other changes that were less significant, man. Minor changes. And that's left up to interpretation. According to the lawsuit, Jackson applied to Shinola Hotel twice for similar position. So he didn't even apply for the same position. So here we go. He didn't apply for the same position. And the name wasn't the only thing he changed on the application. So he, he, he the name was a significant change, but he made other minor changes. And he didn't apply for the same position. <laughs> wow. According, according to the lawsuit, Jackson applied to Shinola Hotel twice for similar positions under a more readily apparent Caucasian name with the alias John Jabrowski using nearly identical resumes. <laughs> Nearly identical resumes. The resumes have different dates of previous employment. So he changed his employment history. <laughs> he was offered multiple interviews within the same week. The lawsuit claims. The lawsuit alleges that Jackson established that the defendant's consideration of candidates was based on the racial appearance of the applicant's name. To be denied a job in 2024 in your hometown for the color of your skin. <laughs> goes beyond dollars and cents. It goes into the psyche of a person, the lawyer said. Sage Hospitality Group is Shinola Hotel's operating partner. Anna Stanchioff. Sage's Hospitality Senior Corporate Director of PR and Brand Communications and spokesperson for the hotel said in an email Tuesday, we take this allegation very seriously. See, that's your problem, white people. That's your fucking problem, white people. Why are you taking this allegation seriously, man? Why are you taking this allegation seriously, man? Should have just ignored this Negro, man. <laughs> wow. So the spokesperson, the, wow, the corporate director said they're taking this seriously and do not tolerate discrimination of any kind. We are committed to fostering an inclusive workplace 
where everyone has the opportunity to succeed and are dedicated to building a diverse workforce that reflects our community. God, no. Wow. According to his lawyer, Jackson attended the job interview and confronted the interviewer. Oh, shit. This nigga confronted the interviewer as if the interviewer, as if the interviewer had anything to do with it. Like, yo, it, black people are so linear, man. They don't understand that these businesses get thousands of hotels. They got dozens of people working in HR. The same person who reviewed your application with the first time may have been somebody completely different who reviewed it the second time. And then the person who's interviewing you is probably somebody who just got, hey, hey, this, hey, this is from HR. We got a stack of resumes. Call these people in for an interview. He's like, all right, cool. <laughs> and you confronted this guy at the interview. Jackson attended job, the job interview and confronted the interviewer at Chinola Hotel. He revealed his real identity and expressed his belief that he was not given an interview initially because his name appeared more traditionally African American. Yeah, Dwight Jackson is a uh, yeah that that Dwight Jackson can only be a black person. It can't be a white. Yo. Shortly after Jackson underwent an interview, the interview process, he was informed that he was no longer a viable candidate for the position. Yeah, man, you nah, man, you came up in there confronting the interviewer, accusing him of being racist, man. Nah, man, you gonna be a headache, man. You gonna be a headache, dude. You gonna be a headache, man. You gonna be a headache, bro. Ah, I ain't hiring you, man. You already you already giving us problems. Man. We ain't even get to. I ain't even interview you. You were supposed to confront me on that after you got the job, man. You supposed to get the job, but you supposed to. I was supposed to be like, oh, Jombrowski, that's an interesting name for a Negro. You supposed to get mad about that or some shit. You call down now. Nah, we ain't hiring your ass. You a you a problem, man. The lawyer said employment discrimination is not unusual. <laughs> he added, as a civil rights attorney, we've seen a lot of discrimination in hiring. Yeah, because you're a civil rights attorney. <laughs> yeah, you're a civil rights attorney. Every time some black person uh, imagines something racist, they come to you. So, of course, you're going to see a lot of that because that's the only type of cases you take, moron, you idiot. That's like a... a a car, uh, a car uh, accident lawyer talking about something. We see a lot of accidents, <laughs> or a malpractice lawyers. Uh, you know, we see a lot of malpractice. <laughs> like, duh. The lawyer said uh, employment di di discrimination is not unusual. He yeah, added, as a civil rights attorney, we've seen a lot of discrimination in hiring especially when it comes to the exclusion of minorities and individuals who have minority-sounding names. A recent study published by the National Bureau of Economic Research found that name bias is a prevalent issue in the hiring process. <laughs> Researchers sent out identical resumes to 108 U.S. employers to analyze whether race and gender affected callback rates for job applications. Now, what kind of employers? What kind of employers? Was it 7-Eleven or was it a Fortune 500 company? Was it a position as an administrative 
a clerical assistant or was it a, as a vice president of operations? See, they don't tell us what, what they just tell us they sent identical resumes to 108 U.S. employers to analyze whether race and gender affected callback rates for job applications. Resumes with black male and black female names received the fewest callbacks. But Marco said proving cases of name bias is extremely challenging, and most of these cases never get off the ground due to lack of evidence. Thank God, man. Jackson's case is different, he said, because he applied twice for similar positions with nearly the same exact same, same resume, and it yielded different results when he used the alias. Marco said Jackson wants to shed light on this problem that's not just isolated at Shinola Hotel, not just isolated in Detroit or Michigan, but across the country. He wants to make sure that it doesn't happen to anyone else. <sighs> you Negroes are tiring, man. <laughs> when people get tired of y'all, man, it's going to be a big backlash, Jack. Damn, man. Y'all make it hot, man. When, when, yo. when they finally get tired of y'all, man. Woo! Lord Jesus. I'm telling you, man. When they get tired of y'all, it's going down. 